Today I want to go over a case of a patient that presented to our emergency department with right testicular pain. And right off the bat, we can see that uh, there's some sort of fluid collection here around the right testicle with these septations. Uh, just to kind of orient you here, we have the right testicle. This is a midline view. I have a little bit of the left side as well. As I scroll, we see that there's flow to the right testicle. Uh, I'm mainly going to focus our discussion on the right since that was the area of uh, clinical concern. So you can see there's flow to the right testicle and then I keep scrolling. This is a cine, essentially showing us the same thing. We have our testicle here. Uh, the parenchyma looks fairly homogeneous. Uh, we just saw a second ago that the vascularity or uh, perfusion was preserved. And we see that there's this uh, hydrocele or fluid collection around the testicle which has these septations within it. So hopefully you can appreciate these septations almost like cobwebs within this anechoic or black fluid collection. As I keep scrolling here we have the epididymis and it looks a little bit enlarged and this is a good image. So this shows that the blood flow to the epididymis which is this uh, kind of banana-shaped structure hugging the testicle. So this is epididymis where my cursor is. And this is the testicle here. We can see that the blood flow to the epididymis is increased and the size of the epididymis is increased. So this is suggestive of uh, epididymitis or inflammation of the epididymis which can uh, progress to uh, orchitis as well. So this looks like a case of epididymitis and this hydrocele that's around it is with septations. So this is a complex hydrocele uh, which can be seen as a sequelae of epididymitis. And this epididymitis is likely what's accounting for the patient's right testicular pain.